chapter 13, verse 32. And he said unto them, Go ye, go ye and tell that fox, Behold, I cast down, this is Jesus speaking, Go ye and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out devils, and I cast out demons, and do cures today, and I'm going to heal people today. But tomorrow, on the third day, I shall be perfected. So Jesus was saying that today he's casting out demons and healing people, but that apparently he's not including the, his disciples in this. He was saying, but when the third day comes, when I have the ability of spiritual reproduction, I will be perfected. So he was teaching his disciples, but he did not yet have the ability of spiritual reproduction, which means the twelve did not have, were not carrying his spiritual child, they were just his students. The twelve were not carrying his spiritual child, they were just his students. And Jesus said, on the third day, I will be perfected. So the question is, what third day did he mean? The third day, 1 Corinthians 15, 4. And that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. And brethren, that's not talking about Jesus, but that's talking about Christ. I've been preaching on this for many years, okay? Christ, Christ in Adam, the creation of God on the other side of the flood. He was buried when all of mankind became clay, which we now see in the epic poem of Gilgamesh. That after the flood, he looked and all of mankind had become clay. Christ was buried underneath the clay, underneath the mind of the, of the clay person. So this is talking about Christ rising in Jesus. And he said to them, no, I'm sorry, that's the wrong place, 1 Corinthians 15, 4, and that he was buried with Christ from the other side of the flood. Christ in Adam, the creation of God, was buried under the clay man. But he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Well, what does the scripture say about the third day? Genesis 1. Verses 12 and 13. And the earth brought forth the grass, and herb yielding the seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself, after his kind. And God saw that it was good, and the evening and the morning were the third day. So we see that the third day, according to the scripture, is the day that someone can produce life from within himself. Amen. Jesus has seen Jesus has seed. I have seed. Okay. If, you have, if you've been sitting unto me and you can bring forth this message out of Christ in you, you have seed. Everybody doesn't have seed. There have been people that have been sitting here for years and Christ in them is not speaking yet. He's not speaking yet. You don't, you're not reproductive yet. You don't have seed. Okay. But eventually he will start speaking through you and you will have seed. That is the sign that you, that he's become mature enough in you to reproduce himself. So that's what the third day according to the scripture is. Does anybody need me to say that again? This is very important. And I didn't know this before, myself before I prepared this message. So let me just do that again. So in Luke 13, 32, Jesus is saying, Behold, I cast out devils today, and I do cures tomorrow and today, but on the third day I shall be perfected. He was not speaking about a chronological day. Jesus was saying, I haven't had the third day experience yet. I cannot reproduce this life that's in me yet. See? 1 Corinthians 15, 4, talking about Christ in Adam on the other side of the flood. He was buried when Adam sinned. He was buried under the consciousness of the clay man. But Christ rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures, and that third day, according to the scripture, is when Jesus Christ, when the, when the spiritual child that was inside of Jesus Christ received the ability to reproduce outside of himself. And that is, brethren, that, this, is, this is huge, because that is the reason that he died. He did not die on the cross like an animal sacrifice in place of the animal sacrifices. This is a false, completely false doctrine, see? Jesus Christ died on the cross. His physical body died as a part of the process by which he attained the ability to reproduce, to spiritually reproduce himself, to reproduce the spiritual life that was formed in him. The outer shell died. Now, 
in my case, and if you can speak, if you can preach this doctrine, in your case, we don't have to physically die to have seed. Why? Because the living seed is inside of us. Jesus, in, in the days of his flesh, okay, did not have a living seed inside of him. The living seed was being formed in him. He had uh, the spirit of Elias inside of him, and whatever else he had inside of him, he could not give it back out. He was not able to empower his disciples to preach his message. There's absolutely no indication in the, any of the Gospels at all of any of the disciples preaching this Gospel before Jesus' resurrection. It didn't happen before his resurrection, see. So that's the meaning of the third day. It's the third day. It's not, a, it's not a chronological day. It's the experience of the third day of creation, which means if you, when you experience the third day, you now have the ability to reproduce the spiritual life inside of you. And that means more than just preaching to somebody. You have to be able to preach by the spirit of life. There could be somebody out there understanding everything I'm saying, but if Christ is not alive in them or... If Christ is not speaking through them when they try to give it to somebody else, there's no seed that will fall on the other person. You have to have a living Christ inside of you to be able to inseminate other people with the Spirit of Christ. I hope you all understand that. It's very important.